Thank you for choosing Think Real Estate to complete your qualification course. Now it's important that we acknowledge this is an actual qualification. So you're either going to be completing the certificate for, diploma, or units in either of those two courses. Now, because it's a qualification, there are some strict requirements that we need to go with. And as you go into your course, you might notice that the first thing we need to complete is the course induction. When you click into the course induction, this shouldn't take you too long. It is a couple of multiple choice questions that you need to complete. They are akin to the terms and conditions of the course. So it's really important that we complete those first. Now, if you have selected a course that has recognition of prior learning, that will come up next. And it's really important that when you click into that part that says recognition of prior learning, that you watch the video that goes along with that as well. That'll give you some important directions on certainly how to tackle the recognition of prior learning section. If you've gone through the RPL video and it isn't something that you want to apply for, just give us a call in the office and let us know and we can certainly mark that off on your course. The next and certainly most important step is that we understand how to get into the course content. Now each unit that you open will certainly have a course content section where there will be videos and PDFs that you want to certainly read and watch before starting the assessments below. Now when you click into the assessment below, it will come up with two options, one being an online or PDF option. They are the same assessment, it's just whether you'd rather download a PDF and you can either type into it still or print it out and handwrite before submitting the assessment or the online section is where you can type your answer in directly onto the site and save as you go. Either way, you'll be doing the exact same assessment. Once you've finished that project, you can click the submit button and that will go straight to an assessor so that they can mark that work for you. If your assessment comes back as satisfactory, your progress bar at the start of the course will actually increase to show that you're moving through the course. If the assessor, however, has marked your assessment as not satisfactory, it might mean that there's just a couple of areas that we need to focus on just to make sure that we can certainly get through this assessment. Now, if this is the case, when you go into the assessment, you will find your assessor's comments directly underneath that particular question. And those comments are certainly there to guide you so that we're, it makes it very clear what it is that we might need to focus on. Now, if you get a comment back that you're still a little bit unsure about, or certainly there's something that might be a little bit hard for us to grasp, you do have some support options available to you. One thing you can do is book a one-on-one -on -one call with a trainer. Now, they're certainly going to be helpful, certainly to be able to get over particularly a small part of a particular unit. Lastly, from time to time, our system can pick up if there's been any plagiarism. So please make sure that all the assessments that you submit are certainly your own work and in your own words. One thing to also keep in mind is that every course does have an end date and you will find that when you go into your course up the top right hand side. So you'll know exactly when your course is certainly coming to an end. But hopefully we can be finished well before that time. So thank you so much for joining in and good luck with your course.